Yo, 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 what up, YouTube Axe? This is your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Driver Hacker, otherwise known as only using me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy, so I'm back with another video for you guys, and right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the audio on your um, Elgato 4KX. So when I first got mine, I've been having a little bit of problems. So basically, like what I do, I normally do things a little bit different from everybody. I don't go by the third wall. Well, the third wall, um, you have this second wall and the third wall, you know what I'm saying? Um, basically, second wall is what, what you can do. The third wall is what's recommended. I like to go into the fourth wall, which is the fourth dimension and what works for me. So I do alternate things to um, go into a situation of how I like to have my settings set up, then what's recommended and what's what other people do so yeah what works for me works for me not for you but i'm going to show you how to fix the problem um because basically i have <clears throat> a different mixer than everybody else everybody else has a go xlr everybody has a go xlr mini i have a mixer called the m game dual rgb that allows me to put two different um connections to different things so i have my mixer going to my main computer and there's also another port on my mixer that goes to another computer that allows me to do a dual mic setup so everything that's coming from this microphone can go to multiple settings then also with the extra plugs that i have in the back i could put it to another mixer and have that go to a camera or to a playstation however i want it if you go to my video i do have a video up showing you how i actually do this with the mix i have but like i said i like doing things a little bit different but this one is was recommended and for the people so this is just a fast fix so when i got mines um i was having problems with the audio like i said and it was basically coming out mono so i'm gonna play a small little clip for you guys real quick so this is my gameplay right here so when i play it you're gonna notice it's gonna sound like it's mono and it's not in stereo now we're in Okay, I just wanted you guys to hear that small little clip of what was going on. Okay, so now to fix this problem, you have to go into the settings on your actual device. Now, like I said, I do a dual PC setup. If you're playing this on your Xbox or your PlayStation like this, it's going to come out in mono. So because I have a dual PC um, setup, <clears throat> I have this capture in my desktop that's on my gaming PC. But my ROG ally is the streaming thing. So basically, what you can do is go into the streaming PC because it's connected to my GPU, and you can mess with some of the settings there. The problem was happening with the audio is actually coming from the source. So basically, the source is what my streaming PC, um, not my streaming PC, my actual PC that I use to um, stream the stuff with. That's where the um, where it's plugged that's in. So basically, I have my my 4K X plugged into my RG Ally, which is being brought to my gaming pc that's what you're actually seeing on my screen for the people that's not getting along just trying i'm not getting along but not getting on uh, what i'm actually saying so i'm trying to break it down as best as i can i know i'm talking too much but this is very important for you guys to understand what i'm telling you so you guys can get an understanding of what the problem is i'm not going to just jump to the program and do it like that i will have some timestamps inside of it so you guys can actually understand what i'm saying to get straight to the video if you don't feel like listening but this is a major part of the video if you're running in a setup like i'm having so basically what you want to do is which i'm going to switch this over really quick so let's switch over to the desktop real quick so you guys can see okay so as you can see right here this is my desktop let's just minimize this really quick for you guys this is my recording right here so what you want to do is you want to go to your sounds right here which like i said this is my rg ally you want to go to record then you want to go towards um elgato 4kx you want to go to properties right this is the main key that's making your auto your audio sound mono go to advance click this off right here okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring back up the gameplay um really quick watch i can't see because i have um let me see okay so let's bring this up real quick okay let's bring up that really really fast and what we want to do is we want to turn this off right here right so i'm going to continue playing the audio and after i play the audio i'm going to turn it back on so what i might have to do is i might have to switch some things up really really quick um you might not yeah you might not be able to hear it so um from what i'm doing so i'm about to switch back over so what i'm going to do is off screen i'm going to click this off right i'm going to click this off 
Um, as you can see on another video, because I don't have the um, other part actually set up on it, I need to set this up for other audios that's on it. So I'm gonna switch over back over to the other screen real quick for you guys. Okay. So basically, what's going to happen is because I need to um, change some settings on the caption so you can actually see and hear what's going on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the audio, and in real time, you're gonna hear the audio change. So I'm gonna um, disable the enhance. Um, Enable audio enhancement. I'm going to turn that off in real time. You're going to hear the change. So let's play the video real quick. And of course, man, just I'm to this is going to work, bro. I'm going to hit apply. Now, audio is cut off. I need to go back to Elgato. I need to deactivate. Activate. And now, as you can hear, this is still. Taking fire! Okay, I'm stopping that. Let's switch back over to my other screen. And there we go. So basically, all I did was disable this right here. That's what's causing the problem for your um, your Elgato 4K X to sound like it's in mono. Turn that setting completely off. Um, I know this video could have been a little bit shorter. It could have been a little bit faster. No, I'm not doing this for the views and stuff. It's just I wanted to explain this to you guys that um kind of asked me because a lot of times when I make these videos, you guys sit up there and say why am i talking so much the whole reason for me talking so much is to give you guys the reason in the background of why i'm doing the fix like that so if you're running to the same problems it's not just okay i'm going to just go to this part of the video do the fix like that but then here's the problem you try to do it instead of listening to the first part of the video you come back because you ain't really understand you try to do the fix and it didn't work for you that's the reason why I talk at the beginning of these videos so you can get an understanding of what the problem was and what my difference is compared towards you. So, yeah, this this situation um, basically is just a fast thing. You can just skip the video to this part of the video where I actually show you what basically what to do. You can skip towards it. But if you want more of the background of the problem that you may run into or you're having and the reason why you clicked on this video that's the reason why i'm breaking it down to you guys so you can actually understand and have more um background on the problems that you may run into us i do videos like this all the time i do a lot of videos for elgato i'm not an elgato part on um, partner i'm trying to become an elgato partner i've been making how to's and fixes for elgato's on um, software since ooh, um eye camera i believe that's what it was back when we had the hapag hd pvr back when we had itv and that was like 2013 14 i believe and i've been doing how-to videos for elgato ever since since the uh, elgato um hd came out the elgato hd uh, uh <laughs> I, I mean i got all the capture cards so yeah guys just to let you guys know this is how you do it this is the fix to get the own thing back and running so yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, become part of the DYEZ gang gang, and I'll catch you guys later. I might um, I might make a playlist of all the Elgato fixes and stuff like that if I have the time to. Um, yeah, check me out. I'm going to be doing the live stream a little bit later on today on doing Call of Duty. So, yeah, if you need to, need to know anything, how to do any fixes, always leave me a comment. If you run into any issues with Elgato and I do have the Elgato product, I will try my best to help you guys to fix the problem. So make sure you uh, hit that notification bell, become part of the DYEZ gang gang, and I'll catch you guys later. That's it, and I'm out. Deuces. Whoa.